Normally, the balloons in Balloon's Tower Defense move like this. I'm a balloon! But in today's episode, they're gonna move more like this. I'm a balloon! And that's pretty much the only way I was able to explain this. Uh, yeah, you're, you're just gonna have to see for yourself. It's, it's pretty crazy. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button. <clears throat> Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Hello? Um, why is my voice like this? Not only are we doing the Wongi Balloons Challenge, we're also doing Magic Monkeys only because I thought it'd be fun to kind of like spicing it up, try out some different play styles. So I grabbed Oban because Oban is the best hero in the game to pair with Magic Monkeys because of his awesome ability he gets at level 11 called Nature's Clarity. All Magic Monkeys in range get plus 5 range, plus 2 pierce, and Druids get an additional plus one pierce, making it very, very strong. So we can go ahead, do I wanna, I'm gonna put this guy like right in the middle so that way he can affect pretty much all of the towers. The so we're gonna put Oban there. Mountain, Dude, we're in the mountain, how spooky is that? We're actually in a mountain. I'm gonna turn off hero audio, let's jump into it guys. So look at the, look at the guys, look at the balloons, what the heck? <laughs> look at it, they're just like, they have no idea. They just like wobble back and forth. That's so weird. That's so like unnatural guys. I don't know why, but it's so strange to me. They're just like, whoa. So we'll put a ninja monkey right there. And now with the ninja monkey, there we go. We have ourselves a ninja monkey. And I'm also going to want to get ourselves a... I guess I'll level up the ninja monkey for a little bit. We can get ninja discipline. And I'll also be able to go get like seeking shurikens and sharp shurikens because that's going to be really strong. I mean, eventually I'm going to want a druid because druids are really, really strong. With Oban, Oban and druids just pair really, really well. But for now, I like just having the ninja because the ninja is really reliable and it's just a guaranteed way to be able to deal with lead balloons, right? It's like lead camo balloons. The only way we're going to be able to deal with that is a ninja paired with an alchemist. And alchemist is going to go really well into this mix and it just makes towers. It basically like every tower kind of helps out each other and it's really nice. I also need to make sure I put down my brambles. The balloons are so strange. I still can't get over it. I can't wait. I think it might be like kind of strange now. I think it's gonna be especially strange when we have to deal with. Oh wait, we can actually go ahead and we can get monkey sense and then dragon's breath, and that will also be able to deal with it. Let's see. Pops through two layer balloons. I don't think that's really important. So we'll just go. I'll go bottom round. I want dragon's breath though. Dragon's breath is so nice to have, guys. And then, but we can also get intense magic and monkey sense. Because that will allow us to hit camo balloons. So now we have two towers. That's going to be hitting camo balloons. So we're doing perfectly, guys. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine how fast, like, DDTs are going to be? They're just going to be like, shoo. And they're just going to be flying. I want, let's put the alchemist right here. That's, he's kind of adorable. I kind of like that he's, like, right there. Like, right smack dab in the middle. We can go, uh, let's get perishing potions first. Perishing, I probably should not have gotten perishing per potion. Perishing, perishing potions i don't know why i was having such a hard time saying that i think my favorite tongue twister is toy boat guys all right say toy boat 10 times fast it might seem really easy but for some reason saying toy boat 10 times fast is really hard but we're gonna go ahead and wait wait one second let me grab let me grab a couple of druids i want to get a druid of wrath let's get a couple of pop lusts and then we can get thorn swarm and we can get another one. Can I put another one? Here, here. We can put this guy here. Just getting a bunch of these guys is always really, really nice. It's time for me to say toy boat 10 times fast. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Okay. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Like it's toy boat, 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 toy boat. I can't do it! Guys, the worm balloons are so strange. All right, here, wait, 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 let's see. Can we see? Let's look. Let's see, here's a Moab. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's like whoosh. It's like a wave. It like moves like a worm, it's like whoosh. Nature's clarity, all magic monkeys in range get plus five range and two pierce. Like, literally, we're about to become so powerful. You guys have no idea. Who am I? Oh my gosh, look at the BFB. That's so weird, the balloons. I can't get over it. It's so weird. I actually want to go the, the top path. 
and then Druidic Reach, and then Heart of Vengeance, and then I also want to get Ball Lightning, because Ball Lightning is really, really, really good to get. It's like super strong, especially here, I think it'll be really nice. Yeah, now we have the Plasma. I think now I'm going to start saving up for the Sun Avatar, because the Sun Avatar is so good. I want to see like what happens with like the ZoMG, right? Is it, how is this going to work with the ZoMG? It, I I have no idea. Will we even be able to beat a ZoMG? I hope so. I believe, guys. I believe in us being able to take out a ZoMG. I don't think it's going to be that crazy difficult. It might be like a little crazy, but not that crazy. You know what you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Bananas! I forgot that this uh, this turns into bananas for us. Since it absorbs a bunch of stuff, it actually just... We need... I Guys, I've been missing out on some revenue. Look at that. He's already made us $800. That's... I probably could have made, like, already, like, five or $6,000 from him. And, like, that would have been almost the Sun Avatar upgrade, right? Like, that's really, really good. Hey, do I really want to get Permanent Brew. Permanent Brew would be really nice to have here. Like, Permanent Brew would be so good. But, I uh, alas, we do not have it. Tragic, guys. Absolutely tragic. But do I save up? No, that's sixty-four thousand dollars. There's no way I'll be able to get to it. I mean, maybe by the time we get to round one hundred, but for now we're gonna have to just keep going. I want to see if we can get to beat round one hundred with strategy. I think we can. It's probably not gonna be that easy beating round one hundred using only like magic monkeys. Plus this, this is a. Uh... Here, wait. There we go. How much money is a hundred dollars? Look at that. He's already made us two and a half thousand dollars. Oh, here we go. Sun avatar. Okay. There we go, guys. So now we have this sun avatar, and I actually want to go ahead and get another super monkey, and I want to put this super monkey up top here. I think that's going to work out really, really well for us. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can put this super monkey right here. And so he gets... Oh, here's round 80. Look at it. The zone is just back and forth. Look at that. That's so weird. That was so cool. But we're not done yet, guys. We're going into free play because we need to see if we can get to round 100. And guys, if you enjoy when I try to get to round 100 instead of round 80, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like it when I go to just round 80 or do you want to see me go to round 100 more? Oh my gosh, there's so many BFBs. They're all so like wobbly and weird. Guys, do you think that the balloons like wobbling back and forth make it easier or harder? I'd love like... I think it depends on the strategy, right? I am very close. I love when open... Look at the blue eyes. That looks so cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we might lose here, guys. Oh, it's over. It's so over for us. No. We lost, guys. Okay. 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 Let's... We got this. I, we're going to try again. Now I have Sun Avatar, though. I, I should have just bought it a little bit sooner. How are we doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're okay. We are... We're okay. We have the... We are less okay. That's rough, guys. Honestly, these druids are not that good. Like, they have not... They're, and they're, it's $4,000 each. We're selling the druids. The druids are all fired, guys. I'm sorry. They're fired. All of them are fired. I think a summoned phoenix would be cool. Let's get a... Let's get a, Let's get some more wizards, guys. You can't... You can't go wrong with wizards. Let's do some dragon's breath. Let's get another summoned phoenix. Let's do guided magic and arcane blast on this one. And then another wizard... And then another... Oh, we can't get Summoned Phoenix, but let's see if this works. This should work. This should be a little bit better for us. Now we have, like, a lot of fire. And we should be able to have our Summoned Phoenix here. So we have our double Summoned Phoenix. And then that's gonna just do its thing, right? There we go. Oh my gosh, we only have 60 lives left. That was, that was spooky, guys. That's really spooky. Oh my goodness, we need more. We need more abilities. We need more abilities. Oh, no. I really wish we, we need the permanent brewmaster, guys. Getting past round 100 is going to be... This is going to be a doozy, guys. It's not going to be easy for this in the slightest, guys. There's all these, like, fortified. Make sure we grab all those bananas. Not bad. Here, I want to go ahead and get another summoned phoenix. So, uh-oh, those are DDTs. Round 90! Put this down. Get, all right, put down some more summon phoenixes because we are we do we need more? I'm gonna just summon the next summon phoenix just because uh, Maybe a prince of darkness. That's twenty five thousand dollars And I see a prince of darkness being pretty nice to have right about now, you know 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we're. There's no way. There's no way. We're done. We're done, guys. I. I feel like. This is brutal, guys. Let me think about this. I probably played poorly, and I didn't get a very good setup. I think I could have gotten a better setup for sure. I mean, we got to round 80, no problem. But getting to round 100 proves to be much more of a, ta a difficult situation for me. All right, guys. I've been thinking, and I think it's time I try to do something a little risky here. I don't know if it's going to work out. If it doesn't work out, we're going to lose. But I believe, guys, I want to get the Dark Champion. Because it's really, really good at destroying Moabs, right? I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to get rid of you. And that gives us the $73,000 to get the Dark Champion. I, is it going to be enough? I don't think so. But I want to see what this does. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come on. Nope. Still not enough. I think I didn't plan, because I thought I was going to go to round 80, and I beat round 80. He's like, all right, let's go to round 100. But I think I could have planned differently. I don't know. Guys, what should I have done differently in the comment section down below? What do you think would have been a better strategy to beat round 100? Let me know. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye, guys.